In our Growth Point teaching today, we will be taking a look at Romans chapter 12, verse number 2. Do not conform any longer to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, His good, pleasing, and perfect will. We see according to this verse that we are not to conform to the patterns of this world. We realize that the world that we live in and its, its system is filled with, with evil and, and corruption. And as followers of Jesus Christ, we are not to conform to this particular pattern. That means that you and I must stand against the prevailing and, and popular things that this world has to offer. We must stand up for the Word of God. We must stand up for truth. We must stand up for what we know is right according to the Word of God. We must be living our lives to the best of our ability to please and honor God, living lives of righteousness. In order for us to not conform to the patterns of this world, our minds need to be transformed by God. That means that you and I must pattern our way of thinking after God's way of thinking. And the only way that you and I are going to be able to do that is if we find ourselves reading and studying and applying God's Word to our lives. God's Word must change our hearts, must change our minds, and as God's Word changes our hearts and changes our minds, it will change how we act and how we live our lives. So we must set our minds on godly things. We must focus on godly things. Our hearts must be turned toward the things of God. I pray this prayer a blessing over you. I, that, I pray that from His glorious unlimited resources, He will empower you with inner strength through His Spirit. Then Christ will make His home in your hearts as you trust in Him. Your roots will grow down into God's love and keep you strong. And may you have the power to understand as all God's children should, as all God's people should, how wide, how long, how high, and how deep His love is. May you experience the love of Christ, though it is too great to understand fully. Then you will be made complete with all the fullness of life and power that comes from God. Now all glory to God, who is able, through His mighty power at work within us, to accomplish infinitely more than we might ask or think. I trust and I pray that God's Holy Spirit will help you to focus on God. I pray in Jesus' name that you would cause each individual, followers of you, Jesus, to not conform to the patterns of this world, but to allow their minds to be transformed and changed by you. Help us to fall in love with your word and to apply your word to our hearts and lives. Because of you, Jesus, and the hope of heaven, we believe and we know the best is yet to come. Amen.